there's a new feature in SharePoint that you might have missed, or maybe you've seen it and thought, hey, this thing's broken, it doesn't do anything. Well, in this video, I'm gonna break down this new AI Actions feature in SharePoint and show you how it all works. Let's get into it. So where is this new AI Actions feature? What, what does this thing do? Well, let's navigate to my library. I'll start showing you how this thing works. You'll notice it right here in the command bar. It's just called AI Actions. You click on it, nothing happens. That was my first thought. Like, wait, did, did the UI team push out a change, but like there's nothing behind it? Like it doesn't do anything? Well, no, it's, it's actually a lot more of a simple explanation. Uh, you've got to actually select something to get this thing to work. So if I select a document, and if we click on the AI Actions option now, then you'll see that we've got things we can do. Uh, we can summarize. So I can click on this, and it's going to talk to, I, I believe it's the knowledge agent behind the scenes, and it's going to summarize the document and just show us right here. We don't have to switch over to a chat interface. We don't have to type anything in. It's contextually aware agent actions, basically. So we've got a really nice summary here. Uh, you'll notice it is a chat style response, which is why I'm thinking it's actually talking to the knowledge agent behind the scenes. Uh, we can click on, we can copy the, the response if we want to. We could see the citations here. We can click on ask a question, and that's, that's just going to take us over into that so, the Copilot sidecar where, yep, you're right, the, the knowledge agent is, is giving us all that information. So it is a neat shortcut to some knowledge agent features. But let's let's walk through some of the other things that we can do in here. We can create an FAQ. So just similar to the you know, similar to the the summarize feature, it will give us uh, a, a quick FAQ that we can go copy and maybe publish onto a SharePoint page, put it into a, a new Word document, whatever we need to do with that, we can get that really easily here. And again, the same options here, copy or ask a question. And this is the this is the really kind of a the cool one is creating uh, creating an audio overview. So this is going to generate an overview behind the scenes, and then it's going to do some speech to text uh, or text to speech. I got it backwards, uh, and it'll start playing right in here. And and you'll see it right now. You probably can't hear it, uh, but it's it's playing the overview of the document describing it. So that's a really cool feature. Now, the first time you run this on a document, it may take a couple of minutes because it has to, you know, do some processing and stuff behind the scenes. But after that, it's it's really quick. Like if I were to start this on this other document, yeah, we'll see that uh, it might take a few minutes because it's got to do all the processing. It's got to do the, the text to speech, all that kind of stuff. But it looks like once it's already generated, it's stored behind the scenes for quick access later. So very kind of very neat feature um, how that works. Uh, what else can we do? So we can just ask a question. This just brings out that Copilot sidecar. So another another way you can trigger that that sidecar and start talking with the knowledge agent. But there are a couple of other things that we can do, especially once we select multiple documents. When you have more than one, and it, it doesn't matter if it's two, three, four, five, like it doesn't change with larger groups of documents. It's mainly just a, a single document or a selection of documents. Then you'll see an option to compare the files. Now, this is really cool, although it's it looks like it might have a couple of bugs. I don't know. Let's let's see what this thing comes back with. So it's going to give us a breakdown um, among different pieces of content in these documents. In this case, these are service agreements. And so it automatically finds really relevant comparison points. And you see it's it's comparing four different files here. I asked, I had, I had two selected. So this is where I think it may have a bug or something because I do expect it to only compare the files that I wanted it to compare. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that evolves if, if that's a an actual bug or if maybe it just needs a minimum of four files to compare. I'm not sure about that, but 
um, it does give us a really nice chart here. We've got, again, we've got the citations. We can copy this. Like this, this right here is really, really uh, handy because it would save a lot of time doing this manually. And again, we could ask a question, copy that, whatever we need to do with that. So let's talk about um, availability because this thing's kind of, it kind of got slipped under the radar uh, and, and not announced very well. Now, there is a link that I found, and you'll, you'll see it in the description below, to go a, a little bit more into detail. But I do believe this is part of the knowledge agent. And so if you have the knowledge agent in your environment, then you'll, you'll, you should be seeing AI actions. Uh, and this is also because it's so heavily AI powered, uh, it, it's it's part of the M365 Copilot license. So you'll you'll need that license for these types of features to show up. But there's a lot of features in the knowledge agent. And if you haven't seen my my full breakdown of all of that, which doesn't include AI actions, so uh, totally new content for you there, then just click or tap the screen and I'll see you over there.